Hello guys, in this video we are going to be installing uh, EvenG in Google Cloud. And Google Cloud gives you 300 um, free credits uh, for you to use um, to do whatever you want in the platform. So if you sign up uh, with a new account, they are going to give you $300 to use in 12 months. If you use it before 12 months, um, then you have to pay more um, but make sure that you really use it uh, in 12 months um, and I'm going to make sure that you use it um, uh, before the 12 months hits and they get rid of that so the first thing that you need that we need to do for this project is that you need to create a, uh, a project so if you go up here and you select uh, your project you are going to go ahead and cl create a new project and you can call it whatever you want right um, I'm not going to do that because I already have one so you give it a name and then you hit on create so I'm going to get hit cancel because I already have a project and I name my project even G project okay so when you are there uh, the first step that we need to do is that we need to go ahead and create a nested image because that's how even G works even G works in a nested image environment and I believe you cannot do a nested image in AWS, but you can do it in Google Cloud and also Azure. And that's why you're able to really launch um, EvenG. Uh, so you cannot do it from AWS. So after you are in your project, um, the first thing, like I said, that you want to do is you want to go ahead and create that nested image. So we are going to go ahead and go to uh, let's go ahead and not really you don't even need to go to image uh, but you can even yeah go to image uh, and then we can go to activate the cloud just to make sure that you are under your Eve and G project if you are under your Eve and G project you should be good and then after that is done we are going to press the um, the Google Cloud shell this one right here and this little window is going to open so in here we are going to be pasting the command that is going to create the nested image for even G. So let me go ahead and paste it. And I'm going to leave this um, this command um, that makes that lets you create a image in the description below. So you can just go ahead and paste it. Um, I have it on a notepad or it's a leaf pad because I'm using Ubuntu. And you can just go ahead and co copy it from there and just do a control V right into the cloud shell terminal. And that should, should create your image. It should take about 30 seconds, I believe, um, for Google Cloud to create this image. Okay. And if you create a project, a new project, um, it might ask you to enable the API, I think it's the APIS. And that's it. That takes like two minutes, and after that is, um, and after that is enabled, then you can go ahead and run your command again, and that should work. There you go. As you can see, the status of my nested image says it's ready. So we are ready to. We are ready to go. So after you create that a nested image, we are going to create a VM instance. So you are going to go into VM instance. We can close that. Um, that cloud shell like it did before and then you can go to vm instance right here and make sure that you are under your even g um, project or whatever you named your project we are going to go ahead and create a vm instance go ahead and give it a name i'm going to name my eve ng um, instance Uh, you can leave all of this as a default for the region, the zone as well. Um, for the machine configuration, well, you can leave the N1 series and then you can just at least you want to add eight virtual CPUs and 30 um, gigabit of memory. That should be good enough. If you want to uh, add more, you can go ahead and add more, but it is going to be more money. As you can see right now, the monthly estimate is that if I run this 24-7, it's going to be $194, which is nothing um, for the entire month, and which is about um, $0.26 cents per hour, which is nothing uh, if you think about it. And now, 
um, just make sure to pay attention to this oh, for the boot disk we are going to be selecting the image that we created remember we created a nested image so you want to go to custom images you want to make sure that whatever you created that image uh, you want to go to that project then you want to go to select the image and here's the image that we created that custom image uh, for the boot disk size uh, you can go ahead and change this I'm going to uh, let's go ahead and give it a hundred gigabytes you can go ahead and give it whatever you want but I'm going to give it I'm going to keep it at a hundred if you want to change it later after creating the instance you can go ahead and do that um, so uh, allow default access that's good and for the firewall you want to make sure that you enable HTTP for community and also HTTPS for the pro even G version but if you're using um, even G community uh, you can just go ahead and allow HTTP and it's fine but if you're using the pro version you can go ahead and allow HTTPS since I might um, do a pro version later for this instance I'm going to allow both of them and then we are going to making sure that I hit everything in series make sure that this one is unchecked and uh, we, we got the our image um, so it should be good so now let's go ahead and create our image and this one should take a couple minutes uh, to create my instance and after my instance is created um, I'm just going to SSH into it and you can SSH directly from the browser and after you SSH into it we are going to be installing um, even G which takes about uh, roughly I would say oh look look at that it, I already have that instance up and running um, so it is up and running so what we need to do next is that we need to go ahead and install um, even G so let's go ahead and first like I said we need to SSH into it open in browse window browser window uh, let's go ahead and allow pop-ups from Google Cloud that's going to open a SSH window to connect to my machine or at least it should let's go ahead and try it again There it is. Here goes my window. And it's trying to connect to my instance. Establishing that connection. There we go. So now we are good. So we are now SSH into the instance that we created with a nested uh, Ubuntu image. So after that is done, what we need to do is we need to do the first command, which is sudo um, sudo, um, and then um, i, and then after that you want to do a. Let me go ahead and copy this uh, because it is a long command, and this is to start the eve um, even g community installation. There we go. So we are missing get let me see did I miss something HTTP this one needs to be separated there we go so I'm going to add that command to it also so what this one is going to do it it is going to download um, the EVNG um, software right so we can install it in this nested image that we added to this instance so let's go ahead and pause this video and then on the next week on after this is done downloading we are going to keep um, configuring this um, even G community version okay so we are done downloading and after you are done downloading the next command that we you need to do is apt update that's going to update it um, and then after that we are going to do apt upgrade 
and let's go ahead and say yes and that's going to upgrade our even G and there we go it has been um, upgraded updated and upgraded uh, so after that is done what we want to do is we want to go ahead and let me see if we can do a reboot from here yep let's go ahead and reboot and what we are going to do is we are going to uh, try to connect to it again let's go ahead and refresh over here this should be rebooting our even G and let's go ahead and give it a couple of seconds for it to reboot so here we go uh, even G has been rebooted so it will take you to this screen um, so what what you want to do from here um, and this is basically the wizard um, so you want to go ahead and enter the root password press enter we are going to reboot it and we are going to press enter um, it didn't let me change the password so let's go ahead and well I didn't change the password I kept the same password so if you want to go ahead and create a new password you can go ahead and do that now the host name I'm going to keep it at even G for the DNS domain um, example.com is fine uh, for the IP address we have to select DHCP you cannot select static so let's go ahead and leave it as DHCP um, if you want to go ahead and add an NTP server you can go ahead and do that I'm not going to do that if you have a proxy server configuration I don't have one so I'm going to leave it as the default and there we go um, so now even G should be all set up um, and like I said guys you need to make sure that uh, you select the IP set as DHCP it is really important otherwise it is not going to work so after that is done even G has been installed let's go ahead and close this leave this page and now uh, you see that you have an external IP address so we are just going to copy it open a new um, tab we are going to go HTTP colon colon we are going to paste our IP address and that's going to take us to even G and we are going to log into it admin and password and there we go we have um, successfully um, configure and launch um, even G in Google Cloud and like I said before Google Cloud gives you about three hundred dollars worth of credits for you to use in 12 months and three hundred dollars um, I think I lab about two hours per day and this instance that I launched it says that it's going to cost around 26 cents um, per hour 26 cents um, times two so that would take me a while to use to for, for me to run out of the three hundred dollars credit that Google Cloud gives you, uh, so that's that's that that's the way you do it, and thank you guys for watching.